Right, who ordered the uh, saltwater estuary box? September's right here, let's check it out. All right, we're gonna start off with the big one in the box. Comes all the way from our friends at Rapala. Now I have here the Rapala Trolls 220 or TTM 20, which is a fantastic uh, trolling lure that you can use through the estuaries. Here's gonna be used for big, big flathead, barramundi, mangrove jacks, but you can also cast and retrieve. So don't let the name put you off of that one. If you're gonna be casting and retrieving, obviously aim for the nearest structure. I'd probably give it a good rip down, let it pause and slow float back up before jumping into your retrieve. If you're gonna troll this, uh, yeah, well, it's pretty easy. You cast it out, you start the motor and off you go. But you wanna look for water that's gonna be at least three meters deep. That's about 10 feet and that's going to be the optimal depth. Probably a little bit deeper, just so this thing's not too close or whacking on the bottom, but swimming just above the bottom is going to be perfect. And then who doesn't like to order a fresh batch of shrimp or prawns? So here we have one from Z-Man or Z-Man in Australia, or whatever you want to call them. I say Z-Man, but I say Z as well. Uh, this is the Z-Man Easy Shrimps, uh, pre-rigged with mustard hooks ready to go straight out of the box. They are a super tough plastic, but with these, obviously not having a bib and being a soft plastic, you're just gonna cast it out, let it sink down, and just do little hops all the way back so you're covering the bottom part of the water column. Next up in the box, we've got a little surface lure here. So this is the Berkeley Slurp 65. So this is a little pencil style or stick bait hard body, so a surface lure. And what you do is you, you cast it out, after you've cast it out, it's a bit hard to fish without casting. What you do with this one, after you've cast it out, just as you're winding, twitch that rod up and down, it'll just cause the lure to dart left and right as it swims straight back to you. Now, this is gonna be perfect for your brim and your whiting, but also your bigger fish like your, your barramundi and your jacks are gonna hit this as well. Or if there's a lot of trevs speeding about in the estuaries that you're fishing, it's gonna be a perfect choice for that too. And last but not least, we've got a duo set here. So soft plastics, jig heads combined together, you got yourself a winner. This is from our friends at Pontoon 21, the Homunculus Jilt, which is a little grub style, curly tail soft plastic. And we're combining them up with the 112th 1H, which is heavy gauge hook jig head to go with them. So with these, you're gonna get a nice slow sink after you make the cast. It's gonna be great next to pontoons or, or some submerged structure up the back of the estuaries where you might have some more timber as well. Uh, plenty of options to fish with these in. I like to fish light, which is a fantastic way to fish your jigs. And if you're fishing light, make it, try and make a cast up current and let that current swim the lure back for you. And that's it for the saltwater estuary box this month. If you want to check it out or any of the others in the range, just head to www.tackleclub.com.au. Pick a box that's right for you and welcome to the club.